Hey everyone, welcome back to POA for you. My name is Leroy, and today I'll be going through Specimen Paper 2021 O Levels Paper 2 Question 3. Uh, the topic is around financial statement analysis, and uh, before I get right into it, you know, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so because I'll be uploading new content as and when I get questions. Um, and if you have a friend who, you know, you think could benefit from this working example, please feel free to recommend or introduce this to your friend. All right, let's get right into it. So uh, Kim's business, uh, we have the certain uh, financial position uh, extract over the uh, over the last three years uh, here on this table current assets current liabilities and you know current ratio is calculated for the first year but you know the other years are left blank so let's look at what they are asking us to do in this question part a what is meant by the liquidity of a business so uh, liquidity basically means um ha has this uh, idea about you know whether we could meet our short-term obligations so if you look at the current liabilities of the company that is the company's short-term obligations and uh, the trade payables are to its supplier and uh, long-term borrowings and the cash at bank these are bank overdrafts um, and you would expect that each month or each could be each week even uh, the trade payables to suppliers come due and you have to start paying them. Uh, current uh, portion of long-term borrowings, uh, usually every month you got to pay a certain portion of that. And, and that's the obligation of the company. And where does, is the company going to draw down the, the resources to pay the money to pay this? They're going to look in their current assets to uh, finance these uh, obligations. And usually it comes from the cash at bank line. But at the same time, inventory, when you sell it, converts. If you sell it uh, at cash, so, so if you sell it for cash, right, then it converts right to cash. If you sell it on credit, then it converts to trade receivables. And then trade receivables after a certain period of time, and depending on the credit term that you give to your customers, it converts to cash after that. Um, so in this situation, you could really see that, ah, you know, the cash at bank position, it's pretty low and up to 2020 it's zero so you know the company got to make sure that if they want to pay their current liabilities then they have to really convert their trade receivables and trade receive uh, trade receivables and inventory quickly into cash otherwise they'll be in trouble right so liquidity uh, essentially means how well the business can convert these current assets into cash to meet its current liabilities feeling which the company could be in serious trouble all right so this is what i've written as a, um, a suggested answer for you guys all right uh, essentially what i've explained to you now um part b asked us to complete the current ratios for 2019 and 20 uh, and you should be memorizing the current ratios uh, formula. It's essentially current assets divided by current liabilities. And 2018, if you forget, 2018 has the answer and you can give it a little try, right? And, and you know, that would apply the same formula that you got 3.62 um, uh, with and you could apply it to the rest of the years. So let, let's let's take a look at our current as uh, current ratios position. I'm going to show you how I calculate this. It's 7600. That's the current asset position for 2019 divided by 30750 and I'm going to use the formula this divided by this and that's 2.85 and then the next 2020 is 102250 and 54 All right, I'm going to use the same formula and that's that's it for part B. Uh, part C, we are asked to evaluate the trend in liquidity of the business over the three years. Now you could see liquidity in 2018 was 3.6 so you know your current assets is 3.6 times of your current liability so that's quite a lot right and and you would think that uh with almost with three over times almost four times of what i'm supposed to pay in the short term uh, i have so much current assets and i should be able to meet my uh 
um, short-term obligation. But then in 2019, this 3.6 has dropped to 2.8, which is still sounds not bad, you know, almost three times, but it's deteriorating. And 2020, it's dropped even further, you know, a little less than two times, uh, which if you look at the trend, it's concerning. Now, um, if you look at this as well, you know, I highlighted the cash is zero, which means that a lot of your liquidity is uh, pressured on converting your inventory into cash and your trade receivables into cash. And if the quality of your inventory, you know, is in question or the quality of your trade receivables is in question, like your supply, your customers went bankrupt, your customers had financial difficulties or the inventory couldn't move, uh, couldn't be sold for some reason, then you would have a cash crunch and that's going to be a problem. All right, so looking at how do, how we answer this how we answer this question, um, I would you know highlight that yes, its liquidity has deteriorated from you know three point six to one point eight times over the three years. Now the current assets liquidity has zero cash balance and therefore uh, a lot of pressures on inventory and trade receivables. Otherwise, your business may be in trouble, right? And I think it's also important to assess if the inventory and the trade receivables can be improved uh, to increase your cash position. So a, a simple way is, do you need to carry so much inventory? Just stop less you know, of your stocks, of your inventory in your warehouse and keep some cash. Um, because maybe 59,850 is way too much when you compare that to your future sales projection. So that's kind of the uh, what I have in mind to share for part C. Let's go to part D. Uh, advice came why liquidity of the business is not changed uh, even though the profit has remained the same over the three years. Um, so, sorry, <laughs> advice came why liquidity of the business has changed, uh, even though the profits have remained the same over the three years. So they are giving us the assumption that in your financials, uh, in your statement of financial performance, the profits has not really changed, right? Um, uh, but the thing is, your liquidity has deteri deteriorated so much. So I, I think one reason could be Inventories are way too high. So when you buy inventory, you are debiting inventory and you are crediting trade payables. Does it hit any of the financial? Both are you know financial position items and not financial performance items. So it will not impact profits, but then it will be a strain on your liquidity because your cash is taken away to um, finance the inventory. And your inventory, if it's not moving, then it would create a liquidity strain. Um, so the first thing is on inventory, right? Way too high. The second one, customers may not be paying on time. So like you have trade receivables that are going higher and higher and higher. So if profits are the same, assuming revenues are the same as well, right? Uh, you, you, you may be selling on credit, but customers are just not paying you. And that's a problem that will create uh, your, your, your cash is, is stuck there and your liquidity position will deteriorate over time. Now, uh, part E, name one profitability ratio that Kim could use uh, when he wants to compare uh, or when she wants to compare her business with her competition. Um, and there are several ratios, right? The one that comes to mind my mind is net profit margin percentage, right? And that's what I've written here. But there's also gross margin percentage, right? And the net, uh, sorry, the profit margin percentage is the one where you 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 have your sales, you less your cost of sales, you get your gross profit, and then you less your other expenses. So it's the final profit of the business, you know, after taking into account all the different expenses that are in your syllabus. Um, the gross profits would be the one that is sales less cost of sales equals to gross profits and that's the one that uh would tell you what the direct profits are so the profits are from the direct cost of selling your product right uh this profit margin would take into account other costs like rent uh salaries and wages that are indirect to the product cost 
Okay, so these are important ratios to compare to see whether your profitability position of the business is healthy or not. All right, that's that's all for this question. Uh, I hope this has been useful. If you have any questions, please uh, post them on this channel or email me at poa 4 u at gmail.com. Uh, my email address is always on the top left-hand corner of my page, uh, so you know where to find me if you need me. Um, if you like this video, like what they say, give it a thumbs up, and um, I hope you... This is helpful and all the best to you. Take care.